Greetings. This is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Bonjour, Abbey Gates. Wanted to do a quick post today regarding the fact that Elon Musk posted uh, yesterday, uh, I believe the, the 7th of March, 2018, a tweet related to the fact that um, uh, the there's a tweet that came out and the, the tweet focused on the fact that um, the trucks or the semi trucks have now been set up to start doing deliveries. If this is your first time on our channel, please take time to like and subscribe. Um, if this is your um, if you're returning, thanks for returning once again. Um, in general, I've tried to keep at least one post each week focused exclusively on trucks. It's been a couple of weeks since we've done so. So there are four or five points that I'd like to make about the new, uh, new developments with the tweet from Elon Musk. Um, there's a sort of a good list and a bad list. The good list is congratulations to Tesla on getting the trucks ready to now start making deliveries. Um, number one. Number two. Uh, also, congratulations to those who've chosen to sign up to purchase these trucks because I think it'll really help the planet in the process of improvement of everything. What I'm cons uh, so let's go through the maybe a five point list. First of all, this confirms that Tesla has a unique new battery that goes in the truck and likely the Roadster and the Model 3. This battery um, is enabling the truck to compete with regular freight loads so that sort of the discount or the weight of the battery isn't affecting the truck's ability to efficiently carry cargo um, that will allow folks to make money on that cargo without having the battery weight wipe it out. Um, another impressive item is that both the 300 and 500 mile truck are able to make the run between the two factories. I think this is impressive. Uh, I'm hoping that the person in the 300 mile truck doesn't use heating or air conditioning during that trip because uh, it's a 250 mile trip. If it's a 300 mile battery they have in that truck, it might be a little difficult to make it uh, if in fact you have a battery draw from you know things like lights or air conditioning or heat or something of that ilk. Um, the third uh, thing that comes to mind is the fact that, um, you know, once you build a new product, getting it uh, through the testing phases that Tesla has done takes time, and there are a lot of fixes one could end up having to do to get this to work, and obviously they've achieved uh, getting that done. The fourth thing, uh, fourth thing I wanted to cover is the fact that, um, you know, the truck because there's absolutely no competition at the range that it'll go and weight that it pulls means that it's a hugely important product for the planet for tesla for everybody concerned and i'm hopeful that um, there won't be any hiccups in this um, the only worst case scenario i can see is uh, as the stress loads get high on the uphill side of the mountains uh, at 7,000 feet you could end up with uh, sort of overheating problems or other issues in that realm and hopefully this is not the case. Um, the fifth thing that comes to mind is the fact that um, you know like if this truck is that refined already um, there's a new factory that's being built I believe in Livermore for this truck and the next question that comes to mind is sort of you know does it create pandemonium what Tesla has been doing is allowing uh, folks who've ordered the truck to do ride alongs where the engineers will ride in the trucks and keep monitoring all the data points to determine whether or not Tesla's claims are valid. And uh, thus far, the result is that all the companies and engineers that have tested it out have confirmed. So I believe that we're sort of in a good space in terms of the truck running well and ready to go to customers. Now, perhaps on the bad side, there's a phenomenon that I've been sort of blown away by, which is that some people can afford to lose a lot of money for a very long time, and it's kind of no big deal. So in this case, let's look at Daimler-Benz. 
uh, Daimler's on its second round of truck iterations. And what that means is that um, uh, there's a, um, an interesting phenomenon going on where, you know, large auto companies will lose billions of dollars to sort of get out the gate on new products. And then once they've lost that money, they can now build the infrastructure to sort of make things happen. So what I wanted to suggest here then is that um, until we get about 100,000 or heading towards 100,000 Model 3s delivered, you're kind of in that this thing is probably not making money zone both on battery and car. So for those of you who are Tesla fans or want to see the company succeed, you know, the ramping process of the Model 3 is, um, is pretty... Um, uh, the ramping process of the Model 3 is pretty important. The next, and the reason is because unless you can get to scale on those batteries, all the numbers that Tesla has provided to its potential buyers kind of don't work. So I think that they've done a good job because uh, the prior to scale deliveries of trucks, we will see, I'm pretty confident that we'll see at least 100,000 units go of the Model 3, and then we can move into sort of uh, truck production in that regard. So there's all kinds of material out there showing Daimler-Benz trucks ready to compete with Tesla, and the problem is that um, there is no uh, um, there is no ability to compete because uh, Daimler's batteries currently don't allow it to do the maximum weight, which is where 90% of the pollution happens <laughs> on Class 8 trucks, and the most freight is hauled, frankly. So basically, every company in the world, including BYD and Daimler, is in a stuck position without a Tesla-quality battery. That means that they can't compete in the semi-space. The next question that pops up is, when is Tesla going to scale up to take advantage of all the market share they can take until these guys figure it out? And the answer is, it could be a while because Tesla has a lot of priorities on its table, but I think this is an important one to potentially focus on because it is a game changer and they do have a complete monopoly where others can show photos, etc., but it's not happening. This also confirms something. I mean, the, the head of trucks for Daimler claimed that Tesla's come up with new physics I actually think it's more chemistry that they've come up with that's unique that allows them to deliver this truck and have it now start running and doing deliveries, um, uh, you know, going forward. So I wanted to um, sort of review all these items because, yes, the truck is now making deliveries, but um, in its current iteration, both on the Model 3 and on the trucks, Tesla's losing money. And the Model X and S is, is the only spot the company is making money on. But what these you know, announced deliveries allows us to move into is what I want to say is a good hope zone where we're confident that these guys um, now have a product that works, that can go the distance, that customers can buy confidently and know that they can move goods without a lot of drama in the electric space. Um, the next thing I wanted to cover is the fact that um, you know, what are we going to do about the growth of battery production from Tesla? Uh, it's my belief that it's better to use these batteries in trucks than it is to use them in cars uh, because the truck's pollution impact is so much greater. But obviously that's not happening based on the number of Model 3 owners who are in line and waiting to, for the ramp to come so they can get their cars. Um, perhaps the final question that comes to mind is what does this all mean for the stock of Tesla? Um, I think they're going to miss the numbers they were supposed to hit for this quarter um, for good reason, which is the ramp just isn't there. And when you're producing 500 cars a week and you've stated you're going to be up at 2,500 cars a week, um, clearly you haven't met the number. But I do think that 500 cars a week is way better than 0, 10, 20 cars a week. So I just think that the future is bright for the company. And hopefully investors are patient enough to allow them to get to the ramp numbers that they'd like to uh, without uh, severely hitting the stock, which could affect uh, their ability to function. 
So in closing, I just wanted to note, it's great that the new trucks are here and that they are now starting to make deliveries. Um, I'm hopeful that we get more video to see them in action because uh, particularly their mountain performance going up and coming down is going to be interesting to watch uh, what electric can do in a class eight space hauling those huge loads. And um, uh, again, congratulations to the folks at Tesla for getting this out. This is Greg from uh, Tesla Fan Insight. Tschüss, mach's gut, au revoir, le hitro, hafez, walk good, enough respect.